Currently, social media is suffering from red flag mania due to dating apps and f-boys running circles around women, which has resulted in so many broken and jaded souls that they are now turning every little thing into a major red flag. Major red flags in guys. 14 red flags. 10. 10 of the most common red flags to look out for when dating, part seven. What are three red flags in a guy? If they're under five, six. If he actually uses Facebook. Say if he doesn't like an outfit that you're wearing, the picture that you posted. I have a lot of these. When they're really, really close to their mother. You go on a first date with them and it's like the best first date of your life. Don't date Korean men who are good at English. When he texts me back, I'm like really happy. Red flag. And their eyebrows are not moving. They're not mirroring back some kind of expression. They're only child too. Man grooming. They're calling, they're texting. Flowers out of nowhere. Only childs, that's not even their fault. Oh, well, I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like they're just like so self-centered. So when I started looking into this red flag mania, I was surprised to see how many women are complaining about men having a too close relationship with their mothers, as if that is a bad thing. Number one, possibly one of the most biggest red flags of all time is if he has mummy issues. Now I get that some mother-son relationships can go a little too far, but in most cases, mothers and sons that are close is actually a good thing and can even save you millions of dollars. Hakimi's divorce from his wife, Hiba Abouk, took an unexpected turn when she filed for more than half of the Moroccan footballer's property and fortune. During the court proceedings, it was revealed that Hakimi had no property or assets under his name. The reason? He had transferred his entire fortune to his mother long before the divorce. As men, we don't care if a girl has a great relationship with her father or is very close with her mother. That is perfectly fine, maybe even a must. Since if she's daddy's girl, then usually that means that her father spoiled her and is very protective of her. It is actually when the dad is not around or doesn't show any interest in her, when all hell breaks loose and you get some serious daddy issues, aka stripper poles and triple digit body counts, which usually leads to a very jaded 30 or 40 something claiming that all men are toxic for dating younger women. As a woman in her 30s who's been in New York for 10 years, it's really hard to watch toxic men continuously date younger and younger. Why do they do that? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one, men are gross. Now, whenever I see these types of women who have lost all hope, I just love to dive into their dating history to see what exactly happened and more precisely, what type of self-destructive delusional behavior they engaged in to get to this point. I know I have sent a lot of people with my three dates, one night video. So today, we're going on five dates and not just in Brooklyn, we're venturing out. So she has turned dating into a game slash content creation tool just so she can piss off people online. Hmm, I wonder where things went wrong. Now before we dive into this mess of a dating history, I'd like to quickly turn to a frequently mentioned red flag by women, which is the whole not paying on the first date issue. So the number seven red flag is that he doesn't pay on the first date. Now, if this was me, I wouldn't go out with him again. Now I agree that if you are a traditional woman, then it's fair to expect a guy to pay on the first date. However, and this is where so many women mess up, you actually have to be traditional yourself if you want a guy to do those traditional things. I went in hard on this topic in my other video, why men don't approach women anymore, so check that one out later, it's a good one. But the main problem here is that you have an entire society that wants to turn masculine men into feminine soy boys and then complain that men aren't in their masculine energy anymore. This shows that he's not in his masculine energy and he doesn't have that protector provider mentality. It's a very clear indicator of that and that he's not willing to make even a small investment. No, of course he's not willing to invest because there's nothing to invest in. You've got women out here scheduling multiple dates a night and going on as many as 10 or even 15 dates a month. The only New York City dating hack you need to know is three dates, one night, 5.30, 6.45, 8 o'clock. You do not owe these guys more than 45 minutes of your time, but it's a volume game. And then some just say fuck it and go on a new date every single day. I'm going on 28 dates in the month of February. I'm 31. I'm very single. I live in New York City. The rule is 28 dates, but there can be certain days where I go on multiple dates and it doesn't necessarily have to be 28 different men, although maybe it's going to be. Yeah, I'm not investing in that. If I'm going to invest, I'm doing so in myself. And a great way to do that is with today's sponsor, Teach Hanley. With Teach Hanley, you get access to a great skincare line that is uncomplicated to use. And if you click the link down below, you can now get 30% off on your first box plus a free gift.
So what's in the box you say? Well, to start you off right, t Hanley offers you an AM moisturizer that comes with SPF protection to keep your face nicely hydrated as well as protected from the sun. In addition to this, you also get my two favorite products from Teej, which are the face wash and the eye cream. These two products really do wonders for your skin and will keep you looking fresh all day long. So I definitely recommend that you click the link down below in the description and get yourself one of these great products today. Now, if you're new to skincare, Teach Hanley also got you covered and offers you three options, which are the level one, the level two, and the level three system. The level one system is a great place to start with to cover all of your basic skincare needs. But if you want to get the eye cream and or the super serum, then you should definitely check out the level two or the level three systems. Now remember, skincare is not something you want to put off since it's much better to prevent it from going bad. And the sooner you start, the better the end result. By the way, if you become a Teach Henley member, you get tons of benefits, which includes 20% off the retail price on all Teach products, and you also get access to exclusive monthly deals. Now on top of that, you also get free US shipping on all of your orders. And like I said earlier, because Teach Henley is sponsoring today's video, they are offering you guys a great deal. So guys, don't miss out on this deal. Click the link in the description and get fresh today. Now another great fake red flag that especially modern women like to drop is the whole, he wants exclusivity too fast. They are asking for exclusivity off the bat. Relationships take time to grow. If someone is trying to lock you down too soon, it's a sign that they have a wound at play. Give it 60 to 90 days before you decide to commit. 60 to 90 days? Are you crazy? Please drop a like on the video if you think that modern women want to be treated like girlfriends but still act as if they're single. And comment down below what you think. So women expect a guy to take them out every week, call them and text them, listen to their problems and struggles, invest time and money in them, be there for them emotionally for three straight months, all while they still get to bang other dudes? Nah, f that. That is absolutely insane. And it's the biggest reason for why modern women are not only single, but are also constantly getting used for hookups and get damaged by f-boys. Because no traditional guy is going to put up with that, and if your biggest concern in dating is the ability to keep sleeping with other men, then you are not a serious option or wifey material. There's absolutely nothing wrong with expecting exclusivity in the early stages of dating if you are dating to find a long-term partner. But this just shows you the utter hypocrisy in these so-called red flag videos because what they're really doing is showing that modern women want to have their cake and eat it too. Which brings us to the very well-known Instagram red flag of men liking sexy photos of other women. You know, him liking pictures of girls in bikinis. If they're liking these photos? Okay, that's a whole nother one. Where other people can see that he's liking it. I think that is very disrespectful and I think that would be a big red flag as well. Now, first of all, posting a sexy photo is obviously way worse than just liking one. Especially if you're just scrolling through your feed and a sexy photo pops up. Cute puppy, like, awesome Ferrari 250 GT SWB, extremely sexy photo, definitely like, then who cares? It's the same as saying a particular actress, model, or musician is hot, it means nothing. But going out of your way to take dozens of half-naked photos, finding the perfect pose to then post the best one online for everyone to see, and generating dozens of comments and DMs about your body and wanting to meet up, no, that is actually the red flag. And the hypocrisy here is that somehow, not wanting a guy to simply click the like button is perfectly normal, but not wanting your girl to show her ass and tits to the world that is controlling and toxic behavior. If he's super jealous from the get-go, um, telling you like, you know, you shouldn't wear that or why'd you post that? Say if he doesn't like an outfit that you're wearing, the picture that you posted. I definitely think social media can lead to a very toxic relationship. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Anyways, moving on to the next so-called red flag that I would even call borderline psychotic behavior, and that is wanting full access to your phone. The number one red flag in a relationship. Ask your partner if you can check their phone. And if they say no, it's personal, it's a huge red flag. How about just letting people live? I mean, the whole if you have nothing to hide argument is the same dumb argument that politicians make when they want to probe every inch of your life. And I think it's absolutely hilarious that this argument comes from the same people who can't seem to shut up about the importance of boundaries. 
We already live in a world where corporations and governments want to control your every move, see your every thought and dictate everything you say and do. So why the hell would you want to invite this into a relationship? These women shouting out red flags are constantly using the words trust and boundaries without even understanding what those mean. I 100% trust my mother who even has partial access to my finances and I gave her 10% of my business. I haven't gone full Hakimi yet but maybe someday I will. However, I still don't give her access to my phone nor do I want access to hers. Just let people have that last piece of personal space since Big Daddy Elon is already firing up the Neuralink which means that pretty soon people will be able to plug in their brains into a shared network and start sharing every single thought. Now to me, this seems like absolute hell. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it will just be another great way to connect with people just like Tinder does. Anyways, the final laughable red flag that I want to discuss is the so-called image obsessed red flag. The next red flag is if he values superficial things or things that just don't matter in a relationship. He could also just care too much about how you guys look to other people or how you look on social media. Now I don't really have a problem with this since it basically ties right in to the whole posting booty pics on Instagram but just take a look at the girl who's saying this. This is what her TikTok looks like. Pretty ironic for someone who's saying being image obsessed is a red flag and a sign that you need constant validation from others. She's basically saying don't date me which I couldn't agree with more. Not only was this girl on the actual show F-Boy Island but she's also proud of it. And that is not where Sarah's wisdom ends, she actually has much more insights to share with us. They're generally very superficial, they probably got with you originally because of your looks. They're very inconsistent, usually only hit you up for like a hookup or if they you know have their boys out at a table at the club. <laughs> I mean come on Sarah, you can't be serious. It is absolutely comical that a woman who has this type of content online is complaining about other people being superficial and complaining that guys only want to hook up with her. These women that are giving out red flag advice are basically the equivalent of someone being hit by a car seven times and is now going to tell you how to not get hit by a car. Um, no thanks Sarah, I'm good. I know how to stay out of the thought lane. This was Red Flag Mania, please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos.